how you all doing? Welcome to this um, video lead tutorial. In this video lead tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a voiceover to your video and then how to adjust volume levels between your voiceover and the sound if you've got any in there. So let's get right in and get that done. So yeah, let's start right from the start and um, I'm just going to click the little plus button in the, in the centre and um, I'm just going to add this this scene here or this clip I just selected um, and then what I want to do, I want to um, add some audio, so I select audio, select loops and then any one of these loops will do, I actually use this tribal thing so um, I've showed you this before on the loops video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a card in the um, in the corner of the screen for you now. But basically, you can preview it by clicking play. But I'm going to click the um, download button over here on the right hand side, and then I've got this looped um, track. And all I want to do to lengthen and shorten this, you can see that I've got it selected. It annotates that you've got a or oh, got something selected by this white frame around the um, clip that you've got selected. You see this white frame around the actual video clip that I've got selected? If I select the loop, I will then get the white frame around that. And in order to lengthen and shorten this, I just hold the arrow at the end. And when you sort of get in line or level with the other clip, it clicks into place, so it snaps into place. Okay, so now to, to, record, um, to record a voiceover over the top of this what I first need to do is mute this clip so I'm going to select the little mute button down here and then it just turns to unmute so you can just see there is selected and then I need to click the back button um, on the left hand side here and then I go to voiceover now with this voiceover what it doesn't do it doesn't give you the opportunity it doesn't give you a countdown okay that's a, it's, it's it's not great this so um, I might actually email support and just let them know that um, I think they should add a countdown. And generally, they're, they're very, very, very good. And if they can add something, it will. But as soon as you click voiceover, you get this little record button pop up. Let me just show you where that voiceover was in case you missed it. Voiceover, select that, get the little record button pop up. Now, like I said, you're not going to get this countdown. So. Um, it's difficult to judge your voiceover if you want to judge it over the duration of the video clip here. So what you can do is you can sort of give yourself a countdown, if you like, three, two, one, then just start talking and record longer than the clip if need be and just edit the audio out afterwards. So let me give you a demo. Three, two, one. This is gonna be a short audio clip as a demo for a YouTube video. Once you're done, press stop. And then, obviously, if you play it back, it'll give you the three, the two, the one. And this is probably where my audio starts. I'm just guessing here. I'm not, I could just listen to it back if I really wanted to, but I'm just guessing, just for demonstration purposes. Let me undo that. Let me show you what I did. With this selected, um, I selected, I clicked split. So this is the half that I want to remove. So I select that half, click remove, select this again, and then drag this down, this, this voiceover, and just drag it down, and it will snap into place at the start of the clip. And you can see it's not quite over for the, doesn't quite last for the duration of the video, but never mind, you can just edit it yourself. Now, what you're gonna need to do is if you want to adjust the audio levels, of the, the, the music volume to the voiceover volume. What you need to do is you need to select the music again um, and you do that, you can just, look, I'm not trying to select anything behind it. I just tap on this little teardrop icon here of the voiceover and it will bring the next um, or the next layer of, um, of audio or video or text or whatever it is in the timeline um, there. So if I click it again, it will bring me the voiceover. If I click it again, it bring the loop. If there was a third one behind that, a text one behind that, I'd click it again, it'd bring the text up. So that makes sense, right? Now remember, this is on mute, this loop. So I have to unmute it. And then what I want to do is adjust the volume, go to the volume, 
drag that volume down to 17, 16, 15, whatever it is. You would then obviously preview it, but that's the way you adjust the volume levels of the voiceover and also any music that's playing behind it. So if you wanted a video and you was gonna record a voiceover for the video, that's the way you'd adjust the volume level. The same way you do with a voiceover. Select the voiceover if you wanna increase the volume, increase the volume here. So I hope this video has helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'll be back with another video. Take care, catch you all soon. This is gonna be a short audio clip as a demo for a YouTube video.